six, two deadly vehicle versus pedestrian accidents last night in Fresno. One of them was a hit and run. CBS 47's Karen Cruz Ordunia joining us now live in Fresno with where we stand on the number of vehicle versus pedestrian accidents so far this year into 2024. Karen. Brian and Catherine, good evening to you guys. I'm at the corner of Butler and Sierra Vista Avenues where one woman was hit and killed by a car nearby this area overnight Tuesday, which is earlier today at around midnight. And now the Fresno Police Department says that the number of vehicle versus pedestrian accidents, the fatal ones, have increased right now in comparison this time last year. One man and woman were hit and killed by cars in two different locations in Fresno around midnight on Tuesday. The victim of an apparent hit and run was a man hit near Polk and Gettysburg Avenues. The vehicle that was involved left the scene. So we continue uh, to investigate, looking for surveillance video, any evidence that might help detectives to identify um, the suspect or suspects um, and bring them to justice. The woman was hit near Butler and Sierra Vista Avenues. This time the driver stayed at the scene. Fresno police says both were unhoused. Pedestrian is a female um, in her early 60s and the investigation on, on that investigation continues as well. Um, the uh, person that was driving the vehicle remained on scene and is cooperating with the investigation. According to Fresno police, so far this year there vehicle versus pedestrian accidents in Fresno. Eight of those crashes involved unhoused people. Three of those crashes are classified as hit and runs. At this time last year, there were nine fatal vehicle versus pedestrian accidents. Five of those involved were unhoused individuals, three classified as hit and runs. Now the police department is reminding people about the importance of safety. We remind them to walk in lighted areas, to wear reflective clothing if possible, to not walk um, in, uh, outside of a crosswalk. Uh, if a person is driving, to be aware of uh, low-lit neighborhoods, to try to prevent any traffic collisions. Officers want to emphasize the importance of staying on scene when an accident occurs. If they leave the area, the consequences are much worse. The crash is then classified as a felony. The Fresno Police Department is also asking the community if you have any information regarding to the two recent fatal hit and runs, or I should say vehicle versus pedestrians, to call them. But for now, live in Fresno, Karen Cruz Orduña, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.